Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do uh, your love reading. Please remember this is a general reading. Timing is fluid and flexible. Everything you need to know is in the description box. If you'd like to request a personal reading, uh, check out my video playlist link. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I am doing a giveaway at the end of every month. I'm giving away two personal readings. To enter, you just need to subscribe, like, and comment. If you're already a subscriber, thank you. You just need to like and comment. All right. Uh, last thing I have for you, uh, be sure to turn on your notification bell uh, to be aware of my upcoming videos because I will publish a winner's video the first week of every month. So good luck, Sagittarius. Let's get started with your reading. We already have one card here that dropped out for from the Romance Angels. Let's get one more card here for Sagittarius in love. What does Sagittarius need to know? All right. Okay. All right, Sagittarius. So I feel here, um, I'm getting here, Sagittarius, you have your healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents and playfulness to, re to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine here. So I'm getting, you know, a few messages here. I feel like for some of you, you may be going through some sort of healing here uh, from the past, you know, whether this was childhood, whether this is, you know, past hurts uh, from previous relationships um, or a current person that you're dealing with here. But I feel like you're really wanting to heal and move past uh, whatever this situation was in the past, whatever's making you feel, I feel here, you know, some of you may be feeling a little down or maybe feeling, uh, you know, you know, like there's something that you need to heal from. All right. But I feel here, you're really wanting to get back to a place where you're just feeling playful. You just, you know, things are fun again, uh, when it comes to love and, you know, this can be, I always see this card, this can be somebody here who's missing you, all right? If you're in separation with your person, uh, you know, there may be some healing that's needed between you and your person. Um, but I just feel here, this is an energy of you just really wanting to be in a space where, you know, kind of maybe that honeymoon phase here, you know, where things are fun and, you know, playful and there's not like a whole lot of pressure okay all right you could be dealing with somebody you know who is just playful right maybe it could be a new relationship or you know but just an energy of having fun again okay new romance could be a lot of things here for you sad so let's uh start with your tarot thank you angels and spirit for your guidance i pray that this reading for sagittarius is for the highest good and purest intentions. I pray that you give Sagittarius the accurate messages and details they need to know for their journey. I pray that this gives them clarity and healing if needed. And I thank you for your love, your wisdom and guidance. And may there always be love and light here. Amen. All right. And I apologize if you hear any background noise. I think my neighbor is like using some type of like electric saw or something like that. So Hopefully it's not too loud on your end. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What's the overall energy uh, between Sagittarius and their person? What's the overall energy between Sagittarius and their person? Let's get three cards, please. All right, so we have the High Priestess. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Ace of Swords. All right, so let's get two, pers two cards for your energy, Sagittarius. Two cards. We have the Queen of Cups. And you have here the Five of Cups. And let's get uh, two cards for your person. Two cards for your person. All right, so we have the Lover's card. And we have here the King of Wands. All right. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Five of Coin. All right. 
Okay, Sagittarius, give me a moment just to hone in on the energy here. Okay, so I'm going to call out the sign Sagittarius before we get started here. For those of you who like to hear them, we have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have Pisces, Can Pisces Cancer, and Scorpio. We have Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini, and we have your energy. We have all the energies on the board here. So, you know, first card we have here, we have the High Priestess, right? So, like I said, you could be dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces here. I feel here, Sagittarius, this is a situation... Um, You know, this can be about your intuition, your in, your your wisdom here, um, you going within, okay? Gaining insights can be about you becoming more spiritual here, all right? Um, I feel here the person you could be dealing with is very spiritual as well, all right? Um I'm getting here your person may be empathic as well over this is you but you also have here the five of coin okay I feel here um, you may be also feeling here your person is being secretive because they left you out in the cold all right uh, there's some lack here feeling lack here feeling you know not feeling a lot of support here from your person um, so I feel here you know this is feeling like an energy here that your person here uh, may be holding, maybe being a little bit secretive is what I'm getting, okay? Or you may just be feeling that way because this person um, is not really there for you is what I'm getting. You have here the Four of Cups, okay? So I feel here, Sagittarius, I do feel here there is a situation where somebody's not wanting to accept a cup of love somebody is reluctant okay and you know you can see this beautiful cup up there it looks really really good okay but there's there's three other cups here so i feel sagittarius i feel you know you may be kind of feeling kind of stuck on this person here okay this cup of love here uh but whether it's you or your person, somebody here in the situation is not, um, you know, is reluctant to receive any offers. Now, this is your energy here, Sagittarius. So I'm going to read this as you. Um, so I feel like maybe you are reluctant here in the situation to accept an offer from this person. And it may be because uh, this person left you out in the cold in the past. Now, you have here the uh, Ace of Swords. Okay, could be dealing with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy here. But with the Ace of Swords here, I feel like this is a sense of wanting um, a fresh start here. Okay, a clean break. So some of you may have cut this person out of your life because they left you out in the cold. Or you may be considering uh, cutting this person out of your life here. But this also can be an energy here. Um, you know, of just gaining clarity here, all right? You do have the high priestess. So, you know, I feel here, Sagittarius, you're trying to gain some clarity here in the situation. Uh, you're reluctant to receive any love offers from your person here uh, because I do feel here you may feel like this person is secretive because they left you out in the cold, all right? Now, your energy here, Sag, we have Queen of Cups and we have Five of Cups. All right. I feel like you're you're caught up in your emotions right now or you're feeling some sadness. Like I said, we do have uh, healing here. So you may be going through some sort of healing, trying to process your emotions. Uh, I do feel here there is loss here. All right. And it may be that the person that you were dealing with, OK, like I said, left you out in the cold or made you feel you were lacking in some way. Now, your person's energy here, we have the lover's card and we have the king of wands, okay? I feel like your person is wanting some act for you to take some action here, okay, in this connection, all right? It can also be your person wanting to take some action here in the connection, but they definitely feel a very strong connection with you. You could be dealing with a Gemini, all right, or another fire sign. 
but they definitely hold a torch for you okay they definitely see you as the one is what i'm getting here all right so even though whatever the situation is, I feel, you know, this is more of an energy. I feel like you're holding back Sagittarius in this connection here. But let's pull some uh, cards to clarify. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the high priestess here, please? Okay, ace of swords. Yeah, I feel here you're wanting clarity in this situation. you got ace of swords again. So I feel like there may be some unknowns here in the situation and you're really just wanting the truth you're wanting clarity you know it may be you know why this person left you out in the cold all right or made you feel this way why is the four of cups here please why is the four of cups here please you have the page of pentacles and you have the seven of wands all right all right I feel here, Sagittarius, you may be feeling um, that there's a lot of uh, challenges here in the situation. You may feel here that this person has blocked you. They may have blocked you, you know, blocked receiving messages from you. That might be why, too, you're feeling out in the cold here. Okay. But for some of you, I'm getting here, uh, you know, this can also be progress, you know, having the upper hand on the matter here okay in the matter here all right so i do feel here you know i do feel here that this person may have made an offer here but you felt i feel here you know you were reluctant to receive this person okay i feel here you may have felt that this there were too many challenges here in the situation all right, let's see here. Why is the uh, Ace of Swords here, please? Why is the Ace of Swords here, please? Okay, we have the Six of Wands, the Justice, wow, and the Ace of Cups. Okay, so I do feel here there is an opportunity um, for things to work here. Okay, could be dealing with the Libra. Uh, we have the justice card here. I feel here, Sag, you don't want to give up on this this connection here. I feel here you're you're wanting truth, you're wanting clarity, you're wanting balance. I feel here, you know. I feel here too, you know, Ace of Cups here. You have Ace of Cups here. You know, this is that Ace of Cups offer up here. I feel here, Sag, I feel here that if, I feel here if, you, if your person would come forward here with truth and clarity here, I feel here you would be willing to accept uh, their cup of love here, okay? I do feel here they're going to come forward, all right? I feel like your person may apologize here, all right? or your person may want an apology. But I feel like it's you, Sag. I feel like you're the one who is going to bring balance to this. I feel like you're the one who's going to bring clarity here. Now, whether that's your own clarity or you, you know, you're going to uh, reach out to your person because I see you as the reluctant one here, okay? I feel like once you gain balance here of your emotions and you have clarity here, I feel like you are going to be willing to accept, okay, this unconditional love here. All right. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the queen of cups and the five of cups here, please? We have the magician. Yeah. I feel here, Sagittarius, you're manifesting this, okay? So I feel like there's healing. You're manifesting your own healing here, okay? So that you can be in this playful energy, all right? I feel here there's past hurts, whether it's with this person or somebody before, or like I said, childhood. Childhood uh, hurts can affect your relationships in the now. So I feel like you're going something through something very emotional here. Uh, and I feel like once you gain clarity and balance here, 
Uh, I feel like there's a very good potential for things to work out between you and your person. Yeah, look at this. Page of Cups. I said here I feel like your person uh, wants to take some sort of action or they're wanting you to take some action here in the connection. And then you have here the, the Page of Cups. It could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So your person, I feel here, may reach out to you. They may kind of just test the waters all right to see how you're feeling here okay they may come in very playful very light here okay this is that energy very playful very light you know i feel here your person may be wanting to heal this okay so the two of you can work on things but okay so far it looks good here sag so let's see what the possible outcome is here Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What's the possible outcome here for Sagittarius? Let's get three cards. Oh, Eight of Swords. Ace of Cups. Okay. Judgment. Yeah. Beautiful. Look at this. The Wheel of Fortune. All right. Blessings are coming you way, or your way. So, Sag, I feel here there's a lot of fear here. I feel like you feel stuck. You feel trapped. Uh, I feel here it's because maybe you don't have the clarity that you need, but I do feel here you're going to gain the clarity, you're going to gain the balance here, and look, you have Ace of Cups, you had Ace of Cups three times, well not three times, it was in the Four Cups, but uh, I feel here this is, um, you're going to get past this, I feel you and your person are going to get past this cycle here, and there is going to be beautiful new love here, and then you have the Judgment card, right? So I feel like this is your call here. You're going to have to make a judgment call whether you're going to want to work on things or not with this person. But there is going to be some healing, all right? Now, whether uh, this is healing um, so that you can gain closure or whether this is healing that you want to work on things. But I feel there's a good uh, indication that you're going to work on things with this person. There is the opportunity for a fresh start, new love here, okay? For some of you, you know, this can even be a new love coming in for you, you, you know, if you're choosing to move on from this connection, all right? Okay, Sag, I hope you gained some clarity in this reading. Again, if you want to enter the giveaway, subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.